destroy that vessel after after. We want to lure out the MTV or that. Alright, pilot, this is the easy part. Let's make it quick and clean. Yeah, easy for you to say. You are not the one touching flak.
Thank you. Gabriel, we're reading a map of ours by the Eureka. But Gabriel's been destroyed. All humans, nearly all done immediately. The Eureka is coming back online. Press the trick on the wall. The address is gone, and the Rooster is under heavy attack. until help arrives. The Auriga outwitted us again and escaped from the area, destroying the GVCV Andrasta in the process. We are guessing that she may have had some warning into our activities given our recent experiences. Unfortunately, all of our preparation was for naught, and the GVD Luxor has been heavily damaged. She'll be in dry dock for a month or more, while the engineers fit a whole new engine array and repair the secondary damage. However, we were able to overcome the Auriga's beam inhibition device and attack the destroyer directly. This technology will come in handy should we have to face the Auriga again. Our scientists hope to adapt the device to inhibit the beams of hostile vessels in the future as well. Despite the failure of our primary objective, we were able to destroy all remaining Morgan Technologies vessels. The MT Defense Force has effectively been destroyed, the Auriga being the only surviving vessel. You survived a highly hazardous engagement, pilots, but many others did not. While we will mourn those who died on board the Entraster and the GCT Gabriel, there is no time to waste now. We must strike at the Sheevan fleet before they can devastate our systems. The Auriga has disappeared from the Delphi system, and the pursuit has cost too much and raised too many questions already. The hunt for the MTD Auriga is officially over.